Sher Shah Suri 1486 to 22 May 1545, born Farid Khan, was the founder of the Suri Empire in the northern part of the Indian subcontinent, with its capital in Sasaram in modern-day Bihar. An ethnic Afghan Pashtun, Sher Shah took control of the Mughal Empire in 1538. After his accidental death in 1545, his son Islam Shah became his successor. He first served as a private before rising to become a commander in the Mughal army under Babur and then the governor of Bihar. In 1537, when Babur's son Humayun was elsewhere on an expedition, Sher Shah overran the state of Bengal and established the Suri dynasty. A brilliant strategist, Sher Shah proved himself as a gifted administrator as well as a capable general. His reorganization of the empire laid the foundations for the later Mughal emperors, notably Akbar, son of Humayun. During his seven year rule from 1538 to 1545, he set up a new civic and military administration, issued the first rupiah from Taka, and reorganized the postal system of the Indian subcontinent. He further developed Humayun's Dina Panna city and named it Shirgar and revived the historical city of Pataliputra, which had been in decline since the 7th century CE, as Patna. He extended the Grand Trunk Road from Chittagong in the frontiers of the province of Bengal in northeast India to Kabul in Afghanistan in the far northwest of the country. <laughs> Early life and origin Sher Shah Suri was born in the place Sasaram in the state of Bihar in India. His surname Suri was taken from his Sur tribe. The name Sher means lion or tiger in the older pronunciation of Persian was conferred upon him for his courage, when as a young man, he killed a tiger that leapt suddenly upon the king of Bihar. His grandfather Ibrahim Khan Suri was a landlord Jagardar in Narnal area and represented Delhi rulers of that period. Mazar of Ibrahim Khan Suri still stands as a monument in Narnal. Tariq I Khan Jahan Lodai Ms. P. 151, also confirmed this fact. However, the online Encyclopedia Britannica states that he was born in Sasaram, Bihar, in the Rodas district. He was one of about eight sons of Mian Hassan Khan Suri, a prominent figure in the government of Balul Khan Lodai in Narnal Pargana. Sher Shah belonged to the Pashtun Sur tribe. His grandfather, Ibrahim Khan Suri, was a noble adventurer from Ro who was recruited much earlier by Sultan Balul Lodai of Delhi during his long contest with the Janpur Sultanate. It was at the time of this bounty of Sultan Balal, that the grandfather of Sher Shah, by name Ibrahim Khan Suri, asterisk the Sur represent themselves as descendants of Muhammad Suri, one of the princes of the House of the Ghorian, who left his native country, and married a daughter of one of the Afghan chiefs of Ro, with his son Hassan Khan, the father of Sher Shah, came to Hindustan from Afghanistan, from a place which is called in the Afghan tongue, Shargari, asterisk but in the Multan tongue, Rori. It is a ridge, a spur of the Sulayman Mountains, about six or seven kos in length, situated on the banks of the Gumal. They entered into the service of Muhabbat Khan Sir, Dad Sahu Kyle, to whom Sultan Balal had given in Jagar the Parganas of Haryana and Bakala, etc., in the Punjab, and they settled in the Pargana of Bajwara. During his early age, Farid was given a village in Fargana, Delhi comprising present-day districts of Bojpur, Buxar, Babua of Bihar by Omar Khan Sarwani, the councillor and courtier of Balul Khan Lodai. Farid Khan and his father, a jagardar of Sasaram in Bihar, who had several wives, did not get along for a while so he decided to run away from home. When his father discovered that he fled to serve Jamal Khan, the governor of Janpur, Uttar Pradesh, he wrote Jamal Khan a letter that stated, Farid Khan, being annoyed with me, has gone to you without sufficient cause. I trust in your kindness to appease him, and send him back, but if refusing to listen to you, he will not return, I trust you will keep him with you, for I wish him to be instructed in religious and polite learning. Jamal Khan had advised Farid to return home but he refused. Farid replied in a letter, If my father wants me back to instruct me in learning, there are in this city many learned men, I will study here. <laughs> Conquest of Bihar and Bengal Farid Khan started his service under Bihar Khan Lahani, the Mughal governor of Bihar. Because of his valour, Bihar Khan rewarded him the title Sher Khan Lion Lord. After the death of Bihar Khan, Sher Khan became the regent ruler of the minor sultan, Jalal Khan. 
Later sensing the growth of Sher Shah's power in Bihar, Jalal sought the assistance of Giyasuddin Mahmud Shah, the independent Sultan of Bengal. Giyasuddin sent an army under General Ibrahim Khan. But, Sher Khan defeated the force at the Battle of Sirajgar in 1534 after forming an alliance with Eugenia Rajputs and other local chiefdoms. Thus he achieved complete control of Bihar. In 1538, Sher Khan attacked Bengal and defeated Mahmud Shah. But he could not capture the kingdom because of the sudden expedition of Emperor Humayun. On 26 June 1539, Sher Khan faced Humayun in the Battle of Chausa and defeated him. Assuming the title Farid al-Din Sher Shah, he defeated Humayun once again at Kanauj in May 1540 and forced him out of India. <laughs> Conquest of Malwa After the death of Bahadur Shah of Gujarat in 1537, Qadir Shah became the new ruler of Malwa Sultanate. He then turned for support towards the Rajput and Muslim noblemen of the Kilji rule of Malwa. Bhupat Rai and Puran Mal, sons of Raja Silhadi accepted service under the regime of Malwa in recognition of their interest in the Raisin region. By 1540, Bhupat Rai had died and Puran Mal had become the dominant force in eastern Malwa. In 1542, Sher Shah conquered Malwa without a fight and Qadir Shah fled to Gujarat. He then appointed Shuja Khan as the governor of Malwa who reorganized the administration and made Saringpur the seat of Malwa's government. Sher Shah then ordered Puran Mal to be brought before him. Puran Mal agreed to accept his lordship and left his brother Chitterbuj under Sher Shah's service. In exchange Sher Shah vowed to safeguard Puran Mal and his land, the Muslim women of Chanderi, which Sher Shah had taken under his rule, came to him and accused Puran Mal of killing their husbands and enslaving their daughters. They threatened to denounce Sher Shah on the day of resurrection if he did not avenge them. Upon reminding them of his pledge to safeguard Puran Mal, they told him to consult his ulema. The ulema issued a fatwa declaring that Puran Mal deserved death. Sher Shah had his troops encircle Puran Mal's camp. Upon seeing this, Puran Mal beheaded his wife and ordered the other Rajputs to kill their families too. Nizamuddin Ahmad writes that 4,000 Rajputs of importance were there. Abd al Qadir Badauni puts the number of Rajputs at 10,000. Historian Abbas Sarwani describes the scene thus While the Hindus were employed in putting their women and families to death, the Afghans on all sides commenced the slaughter of the Hindus. Puran Mal and his companions, failed not to exhibit valor and gallantry, but in the twinkling of an eye all were slain." Only a few women and children survived. Puran Mal's daughter was given to minstrels to be a dancing girl while his three nephews were castrated. As an excuse for the treachery, Sher Shah claimed it as a revenge for enslavement of Muslim women and that he had once, when seriously ill, pledged to wipe out the Rajputs of Raisin. Conquest of Marwar In 1543, Sher Shah Suri with a huge force of 80,000 cavalry set out against Maldeo Rathor a Rajput king of Marwar. Maldeo Rathor with an army of 50,000 cavalry advanced to face Sher Shah's army. Instead of marching to the enemy's capital Sher Shah halted in the village of Samal in the Pargana of Jaitaran, 90 km east of Jodhpur. After one month, Sher Shah's position became critical owing to the difficulties of food supplies for his huge army. To resolve this situation, Sher Shah resorted to a cunning ploy. One evening, he dropped forged letters near the Maldios camp in such a way that they were sure to be intercepted. These letters indicated, falsely, that some of Maldios' army commanders were promising assistance to Sher Shah. This caused great consternation to Maldeo, who immediately and wrongly suspected his commanders of disloyalty. Maldeo left for Jodhpur with his own men, abandoning his commanders to their fate. After that, Maldeo's innocent generals Jada and Kunta fought with just a few thousand men against an enemy force of 80,000 men and cannons. In the ensuing Battle of Samal, also known as Battle of Jiri Sumel, Sher Shah emerged victorious, but several of his generals lost their lives and his army suffered heavy losses. Sher Shah is said to have commented that. For a few grains of bajra millet, which is the main crop of barren marwar I almost lost the entire kingdom of Hindustan. 
After this victory, Sher Shah's general Kawas Khan Marwat took possession of Jodhpur and occupied the territory of Marwar from Ajmer to Mount Abu in 1544. Topic government and administration The system of trimetallism which came to characterize Mughal coinage was introduced by Sher Shah. While the term rupiah had previously been used as a generic term for any silver coin, during his rule the term rupee came to be used as the name for a silver coin of a standard weight of 178 grains, which was the precursor of the modern rupee. Rupee is today used as the national currency in India, Indonesia, Maldives, Mauritius, Nepal, Pakistan, Seychelles, Sri Lanka among other countries. Gold coins called the Mohar weighing 169 grains and copper coins called Paisa were also minted by his government. It is clear from coins dated on 945 1538 AD that Sher Khan had assumed the royal title of Farid al-Din Sher Shah and had coins struck in his own name even before the Battle of Chausashir Shah built monuments including Rota's Fort now a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Pakistan, many structures in the Rotasgar Fort in Bihar, Sher Shah Suri Masjid, in Patna, built in 1540–1545 to commemorate his reign. He built a new city Burra of Pakistan in 1545 and inside the city built historical Grand Sher Shah Suri Masjid, Kila i Kuna Mosque, built by Sher Shah in 1541, at Purana Kila, Delhi, a Humayun citadel started in 1533, and later extended by him, along with the construction of Sher Mandal, an octagonal building inside the Purana Kila complex, which later served as the library of Humayun, Tariq i Sher Shahi, History of Sher Shah, written by Abbas Khan Sarwani, a Wakiya Navis under later Mughal Emperor, Akbar around 1580, provides a detailed documentation about Sher Shah's administration. <laughs> <laughs> Death and succession Sher Shah was killed on of May 1545 during the siege of the Kalinjar fort of Rajputs. When all tactics to subdue this fort failed, Sher Shah ordered the walls of the fort to be blown up with gunpowder, but he himself was seriously wounded as a result of the explosion of a mine. He was succeeded by his son, Jalal Khan, who took the title of Islam Shah Suri. His mausoleum, the Sher Shah Suri tomb 122 feet high, stands in the middle of an artificial lake at Sasaram, a town on the Grand Trunk Road. Topic Legacy Topic Karachi Sher Shah neighborhood and Sher Shah Bridge in Kiamari town of Karachi, Sher Shah Road in Multan Kant and Sher Shah Park in Wa Kant, Pakistan, are named in the honor of Sher Shah Suri. Gallery See also Isa Khan Niazi Haybat Khan Niazi Delhi Sultanate Sher Khan Patan of Bihar List of rulers of Bengal History of Bengal History of Bangladesh History of India Kawas Khan Marwat Sher Shahabadiya community <laughs>